मैरी क्यूरी एंड दिस इज माई स्टोरी वन डे आई फाउंड दिस ग्लोइंग एलिमेंट इन अ पाइल ऑफ गार्बेज लाइन आई डिड नॉट नो वॉट दैट वॉज सो आई पिक इट अप एंड टुक इट टू माई लैब एज आई वॉज क्लीनिंग इट द ग्लोइंग एलिमेंट स्टार्टेड टू अपियर मोर क्लियर एंड ग्लोइंग वॉट काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट इज इट आई स्टार्टेड क्वेश्चनिंग माई सेल्फ इन माई लैब आई स्टार्टेड एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग ऑन इट टू फिगर आउट वॉट इट वॉज So I went to Sir Henry. Sir Henry, I found this element and I'm not able to tell what is it made of. Can you tell me a bit about uranium? I found out that thorium emitted similar radiation. And most importantly, the strength of the radiation depends solely on the element's quantity. The radiation gets affected by any physical or chemical changes. It seems the radiation is coming from something that is very fundamental from within each atom. The idea was in fact radical and helped disprove the long-standing model of atoms as indivisible objects. I have found a clue, so I started focusing on the radioactive ore called pitch blende. One day I was just brainstorming with Pierre my husband and I realized that uranium alone couldn't be creating all the radiation so I went back to understand this mystery and started looking for if there were other radioactive elements present that might be responsible for the radiation we did find an element we named it polonium which was named after my native place Poland and then we found another element radium a latin word for ray and we coined the term radioactivity it was a great exciting moment for me i used the radium element in the x-ray machine invented by german scientist wilhelm roentgen to further analyze the sample this alley of radium and x-ray machine source proved to be more accurate and it was a stronger radiation This idea too was radical and helped to disprove the long-standing model of atoms as indivisible objects. By 1902, I had extracted 10th of a gram of pure radium chloride salt from several tons of pitch blende. Pierre Curie and Henri Becquerel were nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physics, but unfortunately my effort and participation were overlooked. Pierre took a stand in support of me. And that's how my efforts were recognized. I became the first female Nobel laureate. I was happy, but a tragedy struck soon. I lost Pierre in an accident. I was devastated and totally shattered by this incident. Over a period of time I immersed myself into research at the Sorbonne I had taken up peers teaching position after a lot of requests from the authorities to become the school's first female professor I was informed that I have been selected for another Nobel in chemistry I was thrilled to know that this time it was for my earlier discovery of polonium and radium They could be transported right up to the battlefield where the army surgeons could use x-ray to guide their surgeries and save thousands of lives. <laughs>